Well, hello, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday. That's right, folks, Water Change Wednesday's back. But today, major construction in the fish room. Grab a snack and a beverage, stand by. All right, fishy folks, this is the disaster of the construction zone. Let's just show you what's up. We got some tools, we got the cart open, buckets everywhere, a hose, tanks, drilling tanks. The workbench is a piece of art. A little bit of a disaster, but you know. All right, so what do you see? Let's use your concept clues here, folks. <gasps> a box for a sump pump, drilling tanks, Chewy's old tank, what does that mean? Well, it means that you're going to have to wait and see. So we're going to come over here and look. And uh, over here we have the new rack system. It's pretty dark. It's in the corner. So that is the Calico Bristlenose tank that was right here. And um, I'm going to put the 20 long that I drilled over here. And then a shelf. And then probably another 20 high and another 20 long. Now you might be saying to yourself, but but Mike, look how much is hanging off the edge. I don't really care, it doesn't matter. What I did do is I put the back towards the front so that I could uh, push it all the way up against the wall. Now I do have a small issue. Uh, I'm not sure that getting to that, um, the door for my furnace filter is gonna be as easy as it was before, oh well. The other big problem that we have is if I bump into that um, bulkhead, it's possible it'll break and break the tank, and that would really suck. So I got to be careful when I move my fat behind <clears throat> here to go to the back of the tanks. Back there is pretty much a disaster, like worse than ever. So, you know. Uh, I'm going to put probably that light here and then uh, another light up top. Uh, for the top row of tanks. Uh, lights that hopefully will grow Java moss well. Uh, these lights, oh, don't look, don't look, don't look. Uh, those lights up there from Home Depot really grow the Java moss well. Uh, these lights from, from eBay or Amazon kind of suck, you know what. So uh, I do want to want to grow the Java moss. <clears throat> Alright, so folks, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to finish what I'm working on and then clean up and then come back and do the big tank reveal for Taco. Well, all right, fishy folks, that looks so much better. Look, the workbench is cleaned off. I mean, yeah, there's some stuff. You know, I got the filters taken apart, drying. I have my, my stickers from uh, the post office that I have to figure out how to hang. I want to hang them. Got a filter I got to put in a tank. Uh, but look what I did over here, guys. I know, you've been waiting for this. I cleaned up all my PVC parts. I mean, every fish room needs to have boxes of PVC parts. So on the top are PVC parts. On the bottom are, like, brackets and parts for uh, the auto water change system and stuff like that. So, got some extra shelf room. All my buckets are over here. Half of them are stuck together. We've talked about that before. Got a lot of empty tanks uh, because we have three thousand guppies coming on Friday uh, so yeah that's pretty exciting uh, we got the long fin albino bristlenose pleco babies and uh, in here we have super red babies look there's one eating a green bean anyway folks uh, let's take a look over here what I did over here now over here like if you look here right right there right there is taco zoom tank we're gonna say that to the end but so this shelf uh, i just built i actually uh, moved the old school 75 gallon by myself and dropped a center block on my shin and uh yeah i got a lot of a lot of bruises but whatever uh i'm old so we have the uh calico bristlenose breeding tank right here and there's an empty tank, and an empty tank, and an empty tank. And you might be saying to yourself, Mike, why did you do 20 highs and 20 longs? Because that's what fit there, guys. That's what fit there. These 20 longs actually were given to me by a subscriber. I forgot your name, but thank you so much. Um, they were painted when I got them. 
I just drilled them and you know I set off like I set everything up I used uh, the of course you can't really see look let's just clean this off for you from the bubbles too many bubbles so I use the aquarium co-op sponge filters which I love and I use the color uh, airline from cobalt which I don't love anymore and I'll explain that in a second and then we have the black uh, aquarium co-op airline that it's used for my auto water change system I hung a light up there and uh, I hung a uh, outlet thingy up there what are we gonna call that that's a uh, I forgot you know what it is yeah brain fart what are you gonna do uh, I love the go sund um, Wi-Fi plugs everything down here is on Wi-Fi so I can just turn it on and off with my phone um, love it but here's the deal folks like so look I love the colors of the Cobalt airline and then they all run up here I have some new airline out outputs out there it makes it easy to find what airline I want I want to look at but the airline gets hard fast I used I started using that airline the same time I started using the aquarium Cobalt airline and about six months ago and the aquarium Cobalt aquarium cobalt haha <laughs> the aquarium co-op airline is still nice and soft and tender and delicious like guppy fry it's supple anyway i just want to say supple in a video uh whereas in this tank oh, in this tank down here that purple line is hard that goes into the um sponge filter so uh, the guys at Cobalt are super nice and I really love their food, but uh, I don't recommend the airline because it gets hard fast. All right, folks, I think that does it for the massive changes. Oh, let me explain the, um, the sump to you. It's just a 27-gallon Home Depot tub. I went on Amazon and I bought the highest rated, cheapest uh, sump pump. And then I used this corrugated tubing because it was cheap and easy. I was going to plumb it into that sewer line up there that that gray line up there and then i decided this is just cheaper and easier the only problem is i do need more brackets to hang it it's got that dip in it and then it just drains into my dirty slop sink which you guys really don't like so i don't know uh pretty easy over here there's a check valve in the sump pump so the water doesn't keep draining back and there we go all right fishy folks you want to see tacos tank here we go Ta-da! Taco's new palace. It's about a 49, 50-ish gallon tank. It's acrylic. I bought it actually on Valentine's Day. I drove out to Hershey, Pennsylvania from here. It's about two hours. Uh, it's got a scratch in it. Big deal. I don't, I don't really care, but it's fit here perfectly, and I can move it myself. It's uh, 36 inches by uh, 15 inches deep and 20 inches tall comes out to like 49 I think 48 and change or something uh, but he loves it uh, he's doing really well um, in here I of course put the Millennium Falcon uh, back to uh, as a as a memory of Chewy and of course his girlfriend Kathy who he likes to beat up quite often um, I when I moved him I did it very simply I filled a bucket with his tank water I scooped him out put him in the bucket he was cranky in the bucket didn't really move I uh, removed his tank obviously drained it removed his tank put this tank up filled it up put him back in he was fine so uh, that's that folks one same sponge filter so the tank is instantly cycled the background came with the tank. I'm going to leave it for now. Um, I have considered painting the back black or at least putting a black applique on, but we'll leave it for now. We'll see how it goes. And there's Taco. So he loves it. Uh, all right, folks, that does it for the tour and the massive changes. Once again, I have cleaned up the fish room and I'm quite happy with it. I like Taco's new tank. You guys will be able to see him now when I uh, make videos. I like my new setup, which uh, is going to be filled with guppies soon. 3,000 guppies are coming. Don't forget to check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com. See ya. Oh, and TikTok. Hit up the TikTok. And there's Chewy. So, I'm. Um, God damn it. So, do you guys want to see Taco's new tank? I know you've been waiting for this whole video. To see Taco's new tank, here we go, folks. Taco's new tank is a approximately 50-gallon acrylic tank. It's a, a three-foot tank. I think it's um, 
30 inches high and 18 inches deep maybe. I forgot. Uh, yeah, that's dumb.